Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of me John where today I'm going to be doing another ramen eating video. Uh, today's video is a little bit different than the other ones I've been doing. Uh, the last two I did were the regular and the double spiced um, noodle, the fire noodle challenges. Um, today I have a special um, edition from the same company that does the fire noodle challenge. But this time it's called the cool version now the cool version it's cool because of two different things first you can see here um, on this chart it says that this cool version is only 1350 scoville heat units whereas the regular kind is 4404 so it is cooler in the sense that it uh, is less spicy now the other thing that makes it cool Show you the instructions right there they basically say after you're done cooking it you're going to pour cold water over the noodles to cool down the noodles so the noodles themselves are actually cold so that's what i have here i have cold noodles then this is a special cool variety of the sauce and a special cool variety of the uh, vegetables that you add onto them. So I'm gonna open these up. Add them to the noodles. Same with the sauce. The sauce looks very similar. I'm not sure if it's uh might be a little bit less thick perhaps because since the the noodles are cool and might have needed some heat to uh, loosen up the sauce but this one since it's cold might need to be a little bit thinner of a sauce I'm not sure don't have them back to back to compare but uh, Listen to that with some noodles being mixed. So since this is not a super spicy one, I'm not going to just see how quickly I can eat it like a challenge. I'm just going to give it a taste it, tell you what I think about it, um, and just basically tell you about it since it's so unique. I don't know if any other um, like microwaved or pre-packaged ramen comes in like a cold variety. So that's kind of interesting. Let's give it a try. Cool fire noodles or whatever they're called. I think this is called roasted chicken in Korea. Alright, let's just get a Good taste of them. Very interesting, actually. Because, like, temperature wise, it hits your mouth and it's cold. Like a pasta salad that you'd get at a deli. Or pasta salad that you would bring to like a, a barbecue. So the noodles are cold, but the sauce is still pretty spicy. Um, definitely not, definitely not as spicy as the the double spice. But uh, even though it says it's one thousand, I still feel it. There's still a, there's still a good amount of spice hitting my lips. Give it another, another slurp. It's actually pretty tasty. One of the, I did a, you can do a, a Google search Take a picture of it and use Google Translate, and it will translate all this for you. That's what, how I uh, originally 
learned all this information where it says this is the cool version that's the regular version um, the instructions of what to do but this one down here actually says beware of sodium intake so apparently this has a lot of sodium in it about 75 percent of your daily intake of sodium <clears throat> so definitely not uh, something you make want to make a part of your regular diet especially if you're on any type of sodium restricted diet the spice isn't really building the more I eat really like the the original spice from the first bite it really doesn't build or get any worse than that the coldness of the noodles is just uh, a little strange taste wise that chicken flavor really is consistently the same throughout the regular the double spice and the cold version the, the chicken is actually a really good flavor one thing I, I've noticed from this brand of Korean ramen is uh, the flavor is good. It's on point. So I would definitely suggest anyone out there who is really a fan of, of ramen, give this one a try. This one was actually a lot harder to find than the other ones. Original and Double Spice are probably the most popular to find right now on Amazon. Uh, I also have a few other varieties that I'm going to make videos of soon. They have a cheese flavor, a curry flavor, and a stew. And the stew one is basically the same flavor as the original, but you get the broth in it instead of the way these are where you, it tells you to get rid of the, the water after boiling. The stew variety actually tells you to keep it. So it's more like a traditional ramen that we've seen uh, here in the States before. But uh, the cold one does tell you to get, after you rinse it in cold water, to get rid of any of the water. Um, all the flavor varieties have been great. Like I said, definitely 9 out of 10 or higher if I'm doing it on a rating scale. But yeah, that's it for the cool fire noodle challenge of ramen and I look forward to showing you the other varieties as well uh, and I also have two other uh, ramens that I'm going to do a video of that aren't from this brand one is a squid flavor that's supposed to be very spicy and the other one is a habanero flavor that's supposed to be very spicy and I also have another one that is up in the 8000s it's not as spicy as the the double spice which is 88 this one I believe that I have is 8,000 even. But still, that's going to be pretty spicy. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have an opportunity to try out some of this cold ramen. And I'll see you guys later.